Morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. We're taking a look at um, the password for today, which is on April the 8th. April the 8th, and we're looking at Luke chapter 23 again. And the particular phrase I'd like to bring to your attention is found in the first few verses after verse 26. That's where the passage for the day starts. Uh, I'll read the passage through a little bit and then I'll point out what my password for the day is. It says, And as they led him away, they led hold of one Simon a Cyrenian, coming out of the country, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves. And that's my password for today. He says, weep not for me, weep for yourselves and for your children. Wow. You know, most of the time there's, there's details in these stories which we pass over. They're not normally mentioned in church services. They're not normally mentioned uh, when we talk about um, the cross and the crucifixion. And this is one of those examples of things that are said and done. And then the Lord Jesus, <clears throat> he's on the way to the cross. He's already been rescued from complete exhaustion by the Roman soldiers grabbing somebody from the crowd, a man called Simon from North Africa. And they grabbed hold of this man and they made him carry the cross. They didn't want Jesus dying on the way to the place of the skull. So they grab this man and they say to him, you carry the cross. And Jesus walks on. And as he walks on, he sees all the women of Jerusalem weeping for him. And he says, don't weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. Then he says this, and this is very, very touching. He says, for behold, the days are coming in which they shall say, blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear and the paps which never gave suck. Wow. What is he saying again? He's saying, blessed are those women who will never bear children. And blessed are those women that will never breastfeed their infants, their babies. And then he goes on to say something else. He says, Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. If they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? The Lord Jesus describes the day in which he lives as being the green tree. But, but there's going to come a day, you see, after the church age has come to an end and after all the church saints have been raised to glory and after the tribulation has come in and after the man of sin has taken over a greater part of Europe and has brought it under his domain, and after the wrath of God begins to fall upon this world, it'll be said amongst women, blessed are those that have never had children. And blessed are those women that have never nursed their infants because we want to just die. We want to die. We want the mountains to kill us. We want to fall under the rocks. We want to be, we want to be able to hide our faces from the wrath of the Lamb that is coming upon this world. Now what a thing to say. And what a time to say it. Imagine stopping. Imagine stopping for just a moment on the way to his own cross. To warn this nation that the time is coming when the wrath of God will come so much upon this world that they will long to die. Oh, wow, now that's a serious passage, isn't it? It's one that we don't normally think about, but it's part of Scripture and we need to face what the reality of some of these things 
means. God bless you all. Great to talk to you. Look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.